Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today's video is going to be all about low carb food options. So if you are someone who likes to stick to lower carbs, then I think that this video is definitely gonna be beneficial to you and give you some new ideas that you can incorporate into your own day. Now for me personally, I like to have both low and high carb days. And so on my low carb days, my prime um, carbohydrate sources will just come from fruit and vegetables. Whereas when I'm having a higher carb day, then my carb sources will be from not only fruit and vegetables, but I'll also be having oatmeal, uh, basmati or brown rice, uh, and I also love to have sweet potato. Now for me, I like to have four to five smaller meals per day rather than just three larger ones, and I also have snacks. Now, I find that eating this way helps to keep my um, hunger levels satisfied and also curb those cravings. Uh, so I'm gonna show you um, a couple of meal ideas. And don't forget guys, if you do enjoy my videos, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So let's start with a breakfast option. Uh, so on a low carb day, I like to make an omelet to start the day. And omelets are awesome because there are so many different ways that you can do things, so many different ways that you can make them in order to suit your likes and dislikes. I love to have tuna omelet, so I'm gonna show you how I make that. Now, I just wanna let you know that the meals that I make are really simple. Um, I don't like to follow complex recipes as I find that it just is all too hard and I don't like cooking with a million ingredients. And I found that this is just works, what works for me. I like to keep things simple and I don't think that you should need to overcomplicate your nutrition to get results. So here is how I make my omelets. Here is everything that you're gonna need for this meal. I like to have mine with two eggs. Here's the tuna tin that I'm using. You can buy these from Australian stores. This is my favorite. You can buy these from Coles and Woolworths. And as I said before, omelets are great because you can really add in whatever vegetables that you like. I like to have mine with some capsicum and chopped kale, uh, but you can really incorporate anything. ended up turning out much more like an omelette shape than I expected. So there you go guys. I've just entered in what this meal would be in my fitness pal. Now this is an app that you can use to track your macros. So I've put this meal in and it is only 271 calories. Uh, so 4.5 grams of carbs, fats are 12.8 and protein is at 31.9 so it is a high protein and fat meal but you still have some veggies in there to fill it out so. alrighty time for meal number two for today and the option that I'm going to be showing you is another high protein high fats meal don't forget that when you are eating a low carb diet your fats still need to be quite high in order to be eating a good amount of calories and for me when my carbs are lower I will increase my fats and my fats are good fats so anything from avocado, nuts, adding seeds, uh, what else do I like? peanut butter, nut butters, uh, things like that. Uh, so with this meal, I'm gonna be adding some nuts um, and I'm just gonna go through, um, I've entered it already into my fitness pal. So we're gonna be having beef mints with roast pumpkin, tamari almonds, and then some wilted spinach. I have this quite often. Pumpkin is one of those things that people just assume is high, high carbs, but it's actually not. Uh, so for roast pumpkin, it only per 100 grams has 6.5 grams of carbs. So this is really low, um, considering it is quite a dense food. And I like to have pumpkin because it feels like you are eating something that's quite carb dense. It feels like you're having sweet potato or something like that. So it does keep me full. It is a volume for little carbs. So let's make this one. I'm just starting off this meal by cooking the pumpkin. 
Now this is an example of something that you could prep ahead of time because it does take a little while to roast. I put this in there for 45 minutes and while I'm doing that I'm going to prepare the mince as well. But I generally do a big batch of this on a Sunday so that it will last a couple of days as it is a little bit more time consuming. And I'm always hungry so I want to eat my meals as quickly as I can. But right now I'm preparing it and I'm going to pop it in the oven for 45 minutes. For this next meal, the macros are really good. Uh, so for that whole plate is 304 calories. Uh, for carbs we have 8.5 grams. Fats are at 18.4 and protein is 26.7. I'm just on my way now to go and grab some food. Just because you're trying to be healthy um, doesn't mean that you cannot eat out. Oh God, it's windy today. Please excuse the messy hair. But I like to eat out um, usually one meal a day. Even in my comp prep, I still will eat out. It just comes down to the food choices that you make. Uh, so I'm gonna show you what I tend to get out. Uh, and again, it, this one is going to be a protein and fats meal because it is a low carb thing. Very lucky to live in this part of the world. My food has arrived, so I've gotten 100 grams of barramundi, 100 grams of green beans, 100 grams of broccoli, and same with mushrooms. This is a great meal to have, it is super clean. Um, I haven't added any fats to this, but I'm gonna go home and just have some extra nuts. So this meal is 210 calories. It is 16.6 .6 grams of carbs, 4.7 grams of fats, and it does have 32.3 grams of protein. The final low carb meal option today that I'm gonna show you is one of my favorites and I think that it is because it involves peanut butter and who doesn't love peanut butter seriously but um, this one is I guess it's a bit of a healthy version of a satay chicken uh, so with this one uh, we're just cooking some chicken breast adding melted PB on top and the base of it is a cauliflower rice Cauliflower rice seems to be the latest little trend um, and I like to substitute actual rice on my low carb days for cauliflower rice. You can either make it on your own or you can buy it from your local supermarket. In Australia, we have it in Coles or Woolworths, so check those out. Here's what we need for our next meal, guys. We've got the chicken breast. This is the cauliflower rice and I've bought this from Woolworths. We've got kale. And then here's some peanut butter, I like smooth, and some chili flakes. While the chicken is just finishing off cooking, I'm stir frying up the cauliflower rice in a little bit of coconut oil, and I've added in some kale as well. I weighed out around 150 grams of the cauliflower rice, 100 grams of chicken breast, then I topped it with 20 grams of peanut butter, and then I smoothed it over the chicken and added some chili flakes to it. I am so impressed with how this meal turned out. Again, just to recap, on my fitness pal I've entered it and you can have this whole meal for just 333 calories. Looks amazing. Yes! Anyways guys, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it beneficial. Again, if you do like them, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and any of your feedback is always welcome. Drop a comment in the box below. Until next time, guys.